What's up guys, Studoc here, welcome back to more Low Rated Duelist. It's been a while since we've had this, just because every time I try to find low rated games to, to do, there there is none going on on this website. Like, no decent ones. Ah, oh, it just sucks, man. It's just, it's just hard to believe, like, back in the day, in like 2015, I could find just rated, low rated duelists just so easily it wasn't even funny how easily i could find the games and then these days it's just next to impossible it's pretty much impossible to find rated games but man even in traditional it's just so hard to find them these days it just really sucks but whatever you know you gotta you gotta keep the segment alive somehow and for some reason when this card is played on the field spell zone it is not i think that's because toon kingdom was already on the field but isn't this supposed to like light up the game board with the with the picture of this card and for some reason these guys are playing with the old rules i have no idea how that toon kingdom even got destroyed like no that is that is not supposed to be in the graveyard my good sir but whatever man anyway so we got a forest on the field oh nice nice creative name forest <laughs> it's like it's like the they didn't even change the the spelling like that that's literally how you spell forest like i know like in pokemon there's a card called seal and it's like that's like the most unoriginal name ever but at least it's spelled differently i believe on on that pokemon card but i don't even know man so all insect beast plant in beast warrior monsters on the field again 200 oh my goodness getting a little intense 200 attack and defense outrageous and this nimble mamanga actually was able to destroy this by battle or wait what this was set this was a crawler spine and apparently he killed itself or something when it was flipped. Okay, then. Okay. Did not expect to see that, but whatever, man. So, anyway, we get to see a Witch of the Black Forest summon. That's going to attack right into the Nimble Mamanga here. And we'll be able to special summon a couple copies of that in face in defense mode and... Gain a thousand light points, so that pays up for the cost of the Toon World, as there was a random Toon World activated. Don't really see Toons with Nimble Mamanga, but I mean, whatever, man. It's Nimble Mama Mamanga. It's one of the most amazing cards ever that people have played in low-rated duelists over the years. So speaking of that, since I never actually got around to doing the top 10 decks that low-rated duelists love to play... I'm thinking about maybe eventually finally getting around to do that video. It's probably not going to be top 10. It's probably going to be 10 decks low-rated duelists have loved to play over the years. Because, I mean, narrowing that down to the top 10 will be really difficult. So, it's there's probably going to be no top in that title. But, I, always, I wanted to do that video, like, way back in the day, like in 2016. I just, I never got around to it. Because I think when around the time I wanted to do that video, that's when Dueling Network got shut down. And I had to deal with all the drama of that. And I just completely forgot about doing that doing that video by the time this website actually came out but anyway we're going to see a tribute summon here from our player in the blue here's a red eyes tune dragon oh yeah <laughs> so cannot attack the turn it is summoned while you control two and one your opponent controls no monster this card can attack directly apparently it cannot attack the turn it is summoned but he's attacking the turn it's summoned for some reason okay then <laughs> Don't know why he's doing that, but whatever. <laughs> so he can also special summon a Toon Monster from your hand, except a Red Eyes Toon Dragon, ignoring its summoning conditions. Opts not to do that. But yeah, I have no idea how he actually attacked, because it says right there in the first sentence, cannot attack the turn it was summoned, but whatever, man. <laughs> These guys are too pro. And they got similar usernames as well. We got Matty64749302. Three oh two. Oh, is that is that your bank account password? Now the problem is even if even if that is your bank account password, I don't even know what bank you, you have. So I mean, what am I supposed to do? Like I don't even know your username or anything. So what am I supposed to do? Like just assume your username is Maddie, and go on every single bank website that there is, and then use that as the password and just hope I get lucky. I mean, I guess. <laughs> so there is an insect queen. Oh yeah, insect queen. So amazing. Fan favorite card from the anime. Oh, yeah. This was a, a Weevil fan favorite card, I believe. Hopefully I'm not forgetting. It's been a long time since I've seen that episode. But good old Insect Queen. There you go. 
DNA surgery. I'm assuming he's calling insect. He did not actually declare. As there's nothing said here in the chat. So I don't know. Maybe these guys are dueling. Maybe these guys are like brothers and dueling each other. You know, like in the same room or something. Who knows, man? But this is Matty J, but it's spelled differently. And this is just regular old Matty. So Matty J Yu Gi Oh two two three. And then this man right here with just all the random numbers. Oh yeah. <laughs> so this insect queen is at twenty four hundred attack. No wait, more than that actually. Against two hundred attack for each insect type monster on the field. And since all these are insects, that's actually quite a bit. So Toon Mermaid. And then Toon Dark Magician Girl on the field, man. Oh yeah. <laughs> Seems so pro. And that's going to attack the Witch of the Black Forest, I'm assuming, here. And this does not gain a boost from the forest, so... Unfortunately... Or actually, it's an insect anyway, so... Oh, just kidding. All insect, beast, plant, and beast were. I didn't think it said insect, but it, it did. Like, when I first read this card at the beginning of the video, I did not remember having it say insect, but actually, yes. That does make sense, because there's a whole bunch of insects in forests. So, yes, indeed. So, this is at a 1300 attack, and that's going to search out a Jirai Gumbo, or Gumo, not Gumbo. I thought there was a B there. Seems like Gumbo. No, it's it's Gumo, not Gumbo. Dang it. So anyway, it is back to I can't even say Maddie because both these guys technically have like Maddie in their username. So it's back to our player in the Reds turn. I guess I'm gonna say it like that since I can't really say username. I mean, I guess he could be Jay and then he could be just regular old Maddie. I mean, I guess. Yeah, I'm probably going to call these guys um by that because saying player in the red and player in the blue gets really, really annoying, to say the least. But anyway, there is that card that he just searched out, Normal Summon to the field. And if you call it wrong, you get to lose half your life points. I mean, that's still a pretty big beater, though. That is a 2,400 beater. I mean, who cares if you have to lose, like, 2,000 life points? That is a 2,400 attack Level 4 beat stick. That is, that is just insane, man. And this insect queen is at like 3 grand attack, honestly. Like actually 3,200, right? Because it counts for itself. So that is 2, 4, 6, 8, and then 2 from the field spell. That is 1,000 attack boost. So that is 3,000. Okay, why did you do it in that order, though? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter if you're attacking something in defense mode. But I mean, so now the insect queen just lost... 200 attack, believe it or not. How unfortunate. So, let's see what the insect queen's gonna attack here. Is it gonna be the set monster or the toon mermaid? But anyway, it looks like. Oh, apparently nothing. Okay, then. <laughs> Does this have a floater effect? No way. And did he even flip a coin with this? I don't even I don't even remember him flipping a coin. So what are these guys literally just playing in the same freaking bedroom and they're like tossing just a regular coin like that they have in their in their actual hands? But why why were they tossing coins at the beginning of the duel though? Like that makes no sense. Um, apparently you don't even have to toss a coin with this card anymore. I'm just so pro. And how the frick is that attacking directly? <laughs> You yeah, know, you just attack directly whenever you freaking feel like it. Oh, yeah, man. Just attack directly whenever you freaking feel like it. How the frick are you attacking directly, man? What? There's no way I'm missing anything. <laughs> what? What? How is he attacking directly? Oh my god, man. And apparently they're they're not taking the boost from the forest, right? Because he should have taken 24 and then 3,000. I have no idea what the frick these kids are doing, man. Like, what are you doing? So, I mean, man. 
Who would have thought? Yu-Gi-Oh! They, they, apparently, this game got a rule change. You could just attack directly whenever you want, man. Just whenever you feel like attacking directly, you can just do that. Well, that's going to make this video a lot quicker, apparently. Don't know if these guys are going to be doing a rematch or anything, but apparently... This this next level meta man, these these new rules of Yugimons just attack it directly, whenever whenever you want. And since that's the case, apparently Maddie could just win the duel next turn, because all this insect queen has to do is attack directly and then duel or. And this doesn't get destroyed by battle. I mean that was supposed to be a kamikaze, right? Since these are both at twenty four. Or actually, I forgot this is an insect as well. Just kidding. So they actually did that math correctly. This is this is at 26 because this is all on the field. And since the DNA surgery, I'm assuming called insect. I mean, he never actually declared it. But I'm assuming it's insect. This actually is at 26. Man, so many so many attack boosts to keep track of. Like, man, it's way too early in the morning for me to keep track of all this. And that's game. Next level meta, man. That's game. I mean, there's no reason why this duel should have ended right now. I mean, there, there's just no freaking reason, man. I mean, there's, I'm not reading anywhere where this stuff can just attack directly, like, <laughs> cannot declare an attack unless you tribute one monster. Wait, he wasn't even doing that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he's, he's not even doing the insect tokens. He's not even tributing to attack, you know. He cannot declare an attack unless you tribute. That's so terrible, man. Like, that's two tributes and you can't even attack unless you go neg. Like, you have to, you already have to go neg. You, have to, you already have to neg two just to summon an insect queen. And then you have to go more neg just to attack with it. And this is only a 2200 attack. Well, I mean, I guess it's a little bit more, but I mean, that's, again, like, in order to get the boost, you have to hope that there's a lot of stuff on the field. And in order to summon or attack with this, you're going to be losing stuff on the field. Like, what the frick? I have no idea what I just watched. I don't know what I'm going to title this. Just next level meta everything. <laughs> but anyway, there you go. There's your long-awaited episode of LRD that we haven't had in, you know, probably a couple months, I think. I don't, I don't know, but... It's been a while, and now they're just randomly pausing the game. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I just watched, but anyway, there you go. Just attack directly whenever you feel like it. And that is how you win in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! these days. Just next level meta. And they just they were just totally cheating with the Insect Queen. He was not following this card's effect or anything. And, you know, even when he summoned this, this Red-Eyes Tomb Dragon for another... Or on the on the on the first turn of a summon, he actually attacked. You know, on the, the first turn of a summon, these guys are they gonna do a rematch? No, they're revoking it, so they can't really make up their mind of the rematch. So anyway, whatever. This has already been enough for for me to witness. I don't want this episode to be super super long. We've already been having so many long videos on my channel lately. So I mean, this was over ten minutes. So I mean. Not much more you can really ask for. So anyway, thank you all for watching as always. And until next time, this has been Stew Dog, And I'm out.